question number one. If you could change your mate into any one animal. It's not even the same question. Why not? Because this is who belongs with who. The next generation. But this question is for you guys. Oh. The most important part of any meaningful relationship is A. Romance. Yes. Romance. Isn't that the whole point of a relationship? It says any relationship. It doesn't just mean you guys and Lucas. Yeah, it also means relationships with your friends. So, if the answer isn't romance, then what else you got? B. Adventure. Yes. Adventure. Break the rules. You don't have to break the rules to have an adventure. What do you have against breaking the rules, Ranger Rick? It's who we used to be, Maya. Cost him a year of his life to think maybe he's learned something. Read the other choice. How do you know there is one? In multiple choice, there are always the answers that are close, but then there's the correct answer, and as soon as you hear it, you know it's right. And I don't think we've heard the right answer yet, so I know that the most meaningful part of any relationship is C. One for us. Next question. <laughs> Can we please hear what C is? C. Conversation. Ding! Even better. I love these now. How come? Because Michael and I have had so many good conversations now that I think she trusts me. I do. I like these too. So the most meaningful part of a relationship is talking to each other? And with the right person, sometimes you can have that. <laughs> yep. Maybe so. Well, if y'all will excuse me, I'm gonna go over there and maybe, I don't know, kick a tree? <laughs> y'all excuse me, I'm gonna go over there and uh, maybe, I don't know, save a tree? <laughs> Question number two. How do you know if you love someone? You know what? I'm through playing games. I want to talk to you. Who? <laughs> I just need to think. Yeah, I just need to think. May I please see that book? This book? Okay, hey, what do you need to see this book for? It's not going to distract me. You could change your mate into one animal. This is the same book from when Mr. and Mrs. Matthews were here last. You were making up the questions? Why would you do that? Hi. I'm Evan. You're friendly now. Hi. Now I want to help people find their way to places they never thought they could reach before. How do you know so much about us? I was talking with Riley all night. You would think that for one second we could talk about her and me, but you guys were all she wanted to talk about. Tell me what you know right now. I'm a lot younger than my brothers and my sister. Oh, they won't have a relationship with you either? So, I spend a lot of time just watching them. So far, we're still talking about you and me? Stop it. <laughs> no. I've learned to be pretty good at observing people. Understanding what's going on with them. You sure you're ready to hear this? Right now. You know, it feels bad for me. Right now. What I observed about you is that you are the best friend anyone could ever have. Maybe it's because your dad left. Maybe it's because you never felt that love. But it gave you the greatest capacity for love that I've ever seen. Say that again. Well, you didn't understand it. No, I understood it. Say it again. Say it 50 times. Say it in French. You heard me the first time. I did. Thank you, but you're wrong. It's Riley that's the best friend that you could ever have. What I've also noticed, Maya, is that you've cared about Riley so much for so long that the moment she decides to care about somebody else... Lucas? You need to protect her. Oh. You need to see if she was safe with him. Well, how could I possibly do that? Well, let's see, okay? You lose yourself and become like her, so you get to know him like she knows him. And what a great way to see if he's good enough for your best friend. I was protecting him. She would do the same for you. She did. She brought me back. And now that you? I don't like Lucas anymore. How do you know? He went out with him one time, poured a smoothie on his head. Is he romantic with No. And uh, he's so nice, I wanted to mess him up kind of way. <laughs> he's perfect for Riley. I know, because when you're Riley, it's hard not to like him. That was the first thing I thought of. When you were Riley? Yes. But now I'm me. How do you feel now? I feel like if you know me at all, and you know the 
last thing I would ever do was want anything that was Riley's. Why? Because I love her. I always have, and she loves me. We would never take from each other, and there's nothing that could ever happen to change that. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a really dull way of thinking. Thank you, Josh. Hey, why is this bad for you? That it doesn't look as if you'd like that you remember who you are now, I... That conversation is the most important part of any of the relationship, and that you and I just had another amazing one. <laughs> Josh? What? Why have you let me hold on to your hand this entire time?